If I could go back in time to any point in history, I think I'd go back to last Thursday when I made myself the perfect cup of tea. Ah, good times. Synchronic was directed by Justin Benson and Aaron Moorhead, with Benson also taking the writing credit. And it stars Anthony Mackie and Jamie Dornan. Falcon and Mr Grey, anyone? The film comes to VOD on the 29th of March and Blu-ray and DVD on the 5th of April. And my thanks to Signature Entertainment for the screener for this film. If you've seen Synchronic, what did you think of it and what would you rate it out of 10? And what do you think I'll be scoring out of 10? Let me know in the comments below if you guess correctly. Two New Orleans paramedics' lives are ripped apart after they encounter a series of horrific deaths linked to a designer drug with bizarre, otherworldly effects. Welcome or welcome back to Game Over Movie Reviews. My name's Peter and this is my movie review of Synchronic. This is Justin Benson and Aaron Moorhead's fourth film after Resolution, Spring and The Endless. I've seen Spring a while back and seem to recall it was a decent little horror film. I must hold my hands up and say I did try to watch The Endless, but I turned it off because I found the acting a little bit amateurish. That one's probably on me. I was probably in a bad mood. But after watching Synchronic and hearing that Benson and Moorhead have been lined up to direct Marvel's Moon Knight series, these two have obviously got what it takes. So I will go back to The Endless and give it another try. And I'll also give Resolution a watch. Right, with that waffle out of the way, the good stuff of Synchronic. I like how long this film takes to set up its character, its world and its story. I think there are some who will find the start of this film a little bit slow, but I welcome the chance to get to know these characters before the wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey stuff began. Both leads are very strong here, especially Anthony Mackie, who has the biggest share of the screen time. Mackie and Dornan play paramedics, and the script goes to great lengths to show the bond that these two co-workers have. They're essentially brothers, they bicker, call each other out, but ultimately clearly respect and love each other. We get some decent backstories on both of these characters and their families, and by the time the story properly kicks in, I was totally invested in both of these people. Surprisingly, Synchronic's sci-fi element isn't really fully explored until about the halfway mark of the film, but oddly, I found the film much more compelling during this long first act. It may have been due to budgetary reasons, but I appreciated how Synchronic keeps the sci-fi elements relatively small and grounded. This is not an effects extravaganza, a hundred ideas kind of sci-fi. It has a central idea, a strong focus on that idea played out via well-written characters and an excellent central performance, and all this makes Synchronic feel unique. What special effects we do get, I say they're pretty solid, and I'd probably use the word tasteful. Again, it all feels quite restrained as if the film's not trying to be too showy. And the cinematography is also very subtle. There's an excellent long scene early on which explores a crime scene using a handheld style where the camera roams around each room. But other than that, there's nothing particularly flashy here. If you could go to any point in the past, when would you go? Have you seen any of Benson and Moorhead's other films? And if so, what did you think? And are you excited for the Moon Knight series? And how's that prediction for my final score out of 10 looking? Let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to sink more time into this channel, please click on that subscribe button. And if you like this video, please like this video. To the not so good stuff of Synchronic. Very oddly for a sci-fi film with horror elements when the sci-fi stuff actually kicks in. I was less invested in the story. Because the film pushes to be minimal, the sci-fi elements aren't really scary or tense. and There's no real high stakes. The length of the strong first act kind of means that the second and third acts feel a little bit rushed and not as fleshed out as they could be. Fans of the channel will know that one of my recurring issues with films is they're often needlessly too long. I would say Synchronic is too short and should have been probably at least 20 minutes longer. There are quite a lot of plot holes when the film introduces its sci-fi rules and the writing kind of puts the film into the corner. By that I mean that it can't really expand or go anywhere. Again, this could have been down to budgetary reasons, but again, it feels like the film has kind of hampered itself a little bit. I watched Synchronic about a month ago and foolishly forgot to take notes when I did this. Don't do that, kids. Lesson learned. But in that time, I've kind of forgotten the second and third act because of how slight this film is. In summary, Synchronic is a quietly impressive sci-fi with two great lead performances. It goes great lengths to be a small, thoughtful sci-fi, which takes its time to set up its story and characters. This for me is the film's biggest strength and also its biggest weakness. Whilst I did enjoy watching the film, it's not left a lasting impression on me. 
My score for Synchronic is six and a half out of ten. Thanks for watching. Game over, man. It's game over. <laughs>